Uh oh, that's that guy who beat us up. Recognise the nose. Oh no, here we go. Oh, I pressed the wrong way. Was I too slow? <laughs> Did I press it the wrong way? So down. There we I go. I never understand why detectives and criminals bust you while they fight oh, each other. No. Buttons. What a waste of breath. Focus. Oh, see, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Oh. To save my breath for the final roar. What happened there? I'm sure it's slow. It's not giving me the buttons quick enough. <laughs> it's probably me. Is that like an anteater? Aardvark or whatever. I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bust you while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath, focus and energy. What's next? Get him. It's not the lack of credibility in the screenplay that bothers me. Oh no, I missed the button. Rats. <laughs> to be fair, reality bothers me much more. Do you want to try again, Black's head? What, from the beginning? Oh no, this will take me hours. I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bust you while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath, focus, and energy. I've got to concentrate. Can't talk. It's not the lack of credibility in the screen that bothers me. Get him! Get him! Get him! Plus, it's actually pretty handy. When a crook talks to you in the middle of a fight, you know you're up against a rookie. Get him! I didn't know what button to press on that last one. <laughs> it's like it's counting down quick, press anything. What did they say? <clears throat> Nothing serious. I lost another one of my nine lives. <laughs> oh, this hurts. Got many left? I'm in the red. You yeah, hasn't woken up yet? Nope. We're gonna be here a while. Vulpine. Seven letters. Uh... Dunno. Devious? Hmm. You think that's the same thing? I don't know. Sounds a bit off to me. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the uh, big nose here. <laughs> oh sardine man okay don't think we've got anything else yeah that's it i think hmm See, see the soul of those? Tearing his pants. Wait, I know. Vulpine, seven letters. Cunning. What are you looking for? Nothing. Will he live? He'll live. 
So what have you found out? Randall Lee. Apparently in love with our penitentiary system, judging by the frequency of his visits. Theft, assault, extortion, you know, minor things of the sort. Any partners? Always works alone. He's never ratted out his employers, provided they exist. Did you find anything? Is this our man? Do you have proof? Hmm. The soles of his shoes. Can we... Well, he reeks of sardines, doesn't he? Have we got any other sardine ones? Tearing his pants. Sardines. Here we go. Relatively small shoes. Does that match the signed document? Oh, where's the other one? That one? No. Okay. There's got to be another one. Maybe I've got to put all the clues. So he, he reeks of sardines. He has small... Oh, he's got a tear in his pants from the denim that was found on the stairs at the boxing club. So the sardines, the tear in his pants... Oh. Okay, so they must have to relate to each other rather than them being possible clues. Jean fabric, here we go, found it. Jean fabric... Where's the tear? What? Where's the tear in his pants? Tear in the pants. Aha! Hmm. Looks like we know who tore his pants following Clarice Freeman up to the rooftop. His pants have a tear in them. I found a piece of that same fabric at the gym, on the stairs that lead to the rooftop where we found the second body. Makes sense, but how many pairs of ripped pants are walking around New York City? <laughs> I don't call that evidence. It's still linked, though. Okay, what about the sardines? The smelly gym burglar. Didn't find it looking at Dunn's. And where is his snout? Reeks of sardines down here. The guy who broke into the gym in Dunn's place has a thing for sardines. Did you smell his breath? Right. Because there's only one sardine fanatic on this side of the Hudson. <laughs> I need something more. Okay. Let's give them some more. The foot, it's got to be the footprints. So... This one. And will you let me do the top one? It wants another one. What if we go with that and that one and that one? Aha! I saw footprints from those very same shoes next to both the gym murders. Unless you're telling me that shoe is a limited edition, I'm gonna need something else. Oh my god! Right, what else? <laughs> um. So we had the two thugs scared me into leaving the case, but one of them was trigger happy. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, a little stuck. Trigger happy. Ah, oh, okay. One of the thugs that attacked me the other night had a snout just like his. I'm sorry, but you can't incriminate someone based solely on species. <laughs> what else you got? Oh my what god. What do you need? I've given you four pieces of evidence. None of which are conclusive. He tried to throw me off the rooftop. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. He's our man. <laughs> no, he's not our man. Make up your mind. He's just a puppet. Someone is pulling his strings. Hmm. Could it be Yale? Uh. He's hiding something for sure. But I don't think he did it. By the way, was he discharged? His room is empty. They let him out yesterday. He's in police custody now. You can tell he's an athlete. Made quite the comeback. Anyone else would have taken ten times as long. Anyway, he better be fine. You know they've ordered me to escort him to Madison Square Garden on the day of the fight. Uh, first news? That's the first I hear of it. Oh. Quick, what do you want? Good cop or bad cop? Bad. I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. Good thing someone took out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Lee. I assume you're aware that you're about to be accused of murder, and that thanks to the witness testimonies of Mr. Blacksad and Miss Dunn, your future is not looking too good. Go to hell, you dog. If I choked you with a pillow, nobody would know. You should already be dead. Black said, stay out of this. Remember who's the cop here. Maybe we can offer you a deal. Hey. We know someone hired you to kill Joe Dunn and Clarice Freeman. What do you have to say? I'll call your bluff. You ain't got nothing. Um. Your friend the Hell Horse doesn't seem to feel that way. Although I'm afraid he won't be talking anymore. Shut up, or I'll kick you out. If you tell us who hired you, we'll help you. What can you offer me? Let you live. How much is your life worth to you? Don't pay attention to him, Mr. Lee. We aren't vigilantes. But we can <laughs> significantly reduce your sentence. <coughs> That's a start. But it's not good enough. I want in on the witness protection program. New city, new job, new identity. And a clean police record. That's the only way I'll talk. Meanwhile, I want police protection 24-7. I'm afraid that... Whoa! Watch out! Ooh. Oh no, I missed it. Can I try again? I wasn't expecting that. I'm afraid that. Whoa! Watch out! Let's I'm try this again. <laughs> we got this. Come on, Watch my dad. <laughs> oh, he's... I'm going to miss it. He's going to get me. I can't go down. 
Uh -oh. <laughs> right, let's try it again. Where is he? Can't zoom in anywhere. Is he up? Ah, here we go. Gotcha. Knew you're up high somewhere. Wow. Luckily, Smirnov's wound wasn't as bad as Randall's. Unfortunately, the police found nothing on the nearby rooftops. Our best shot at finding the killer was gone. So I went back to my previous lead. From before my mother got sick and we moved here. I loved reading stories about pirates, so my father drew a treasure map for me. I searched the whole house one clue at a time. It led me to this enormous tree in the yard where Daddy had put up a, a tire swing. Okay, guys, that's probably a... Oh, well. Oh, something here. That's probably a good place to bring the episode to an end. We just do this section. Aha, we have found something. Hello, Smirnoff residence. Your Next dad! Computer. No, I got you with my lasso! Can you quiet down, kids? Dan got killed for stirring the hornet's nest. And you confessed your crime! Kids, please. He'd been investigating athletes for months, including Helen Moore and Al Stone, among others. Mm. Dunn's notes aren't all that clear, and I'm not sure what he was after. Mm. But I'd say we're facing a widespread corruption case. Well, if you're right. That could be some dangerous evidence. Bring it here ASAP. Sure, but there's something important that I need to finish first. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me and Black Sad, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye. I wanted to follow a certain lead on my own before Smirnov had the chance to see anything. <laughs>